My name is David Smith. Um, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland. My mother was in prison there. Um, I heard my father got in some situations with selling drugs. Um, they told my mother that if someone didn't come get me, that I would go into foster care down there. So my grandparents, they came down and they picked me up and they would raise me all the way up until I was 12 when my grandfather passed away. I found myself living in a local homeless shelter. It was rough, it was humiliating. So I would go in when it was dark and I would come out before the sun came up. From 13 to 17, I would have been in and out of multiple foster homes. Um, and basically I just never felt loved in any of these places. There was, it was missing just a family element that you know we all look for as kids, even if we were rebellious. I started selling drugs um, and that was fun. I was getting money. Um, spending money, blowing money, the whole the, the whole life, it was just fun, partying, um, it was great. I was driving around on this little mini bike and um, a cop pulled me over and I had two fifties of crack in my um, pocket and I had an eighth of weed in my hat. So from there I would have got sent down to a juvenile prison in Hagerstown and here I am got drug charges. And, um, my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife, she was pregnant with my daughter um, she had to tell her mother in the same breath that she was pregnant and I was in jail. I ended up getting out on a Monday. I didn't learn my lesson. Over the course of a couple years, I would try to stop, but I would always find myself going right back to selling some type of drug. In 2008, it would have been a drug deal going wrong. Uh, the DEA and the SWAT team swarmed all over this place. Um, I didn't have nothing but money and they took it. Um, they sent me home, and on my drive home, God gave me a vision of me visiting my children in prison. And in this vision, I was fist bumping the glass at the end of our visit, and my kids was leaving. And so from that day forward, I've never purchased, used, or sold another drug since. For God to speak to me, or to show me this, it was like God's reaching out to me. He's, he's initiating this relationship. God started doing more things in our lives and speaking to us in different ways. So we started to go to um, my wife's church that she grew up in. Very quickly, God started using us in many different areas. I took in six more children um, that came from different um, life circumstances, which took me to a total of eight kids that I get to raise now. And, uh, and, and I was able to help prevent them kids from going through what I went through. I wanted to make sure that they felt their value, that they felt love, that they had a sense of family, a sense of belonging. So now me and my wife, we're on staff here at City Reach uh, Church Cumberland. Not only has God changed and transformed my life, but he's, he's, he's changing and then transforming all these little lives that I get to raise to be young men and women of society, young followers, young passionate believers in Jesus Christ. And, and it's in Jesus that we all thrive, that we all have been changed and transformed.